I've been surrounded by some of the greatest athletes of all time, and every one of them had their own unique formula for success. I'm Terry Bradshaw. Please join me as I leave the field for the boardroom in search of the best and the brightest people willing to share their viewpoints. The United States has emerged as an industrial giant, and every day it's striving to become bigger, faster, and better. Join me as we explore the inner workings of American industry. Wood is an essential part of our everyday lives. It's used for flooring in homes, outdoor decks, siding on buildings, even kitchen utensils. This wood comes from our nation's forest, and it's important that these forests are managed in a responsible way. This means maintaining their ecological, social, and economic value on a sustained basis. It's something that Anderson Tully Company has done for over a century. Anderson Tully owns more than 300,000 acres of bottomland hardwood forests in Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Tennessee. It also manages another 200,000 in the Mississippi River Valley. Sustainable forest management sits on three pedestals. The first of those being environment. We believe the Anderson Tully Management Plan actually has been designed to have a positive impact on the environment as opposed to a minimally negative one. The second one is social. We're a good community uh, citizen in the Mississippi Alluvial Valley and we believe that as a forest owner uh, we're a good neighbor. The third is economics. We're a significant contributor to the uh, economy in the Mississippi Alluvial Valley and we believe we're returning uh, a reasonable return to the folks that own the company. Anderson Tully enjoys a hard-earned reputation for forest stewardship and high quality timber supply. Our forest resource managers use scientific inventory methods to look at the forest to understand which areas need to be cut and then they actually go tree by tree, looking at each tree, marking the trees that they feel need to come out. And all of this leads to sustained yield of the forest. Our company lands are leased out to groups of hunters who sign license agreements. And these license agreements obligate these hunting clubs to follow the company's guidelines for game harvest levels. As company biologists, we also work closely with state and federal wildlife agencies to share information and to share management strategies. The trees that are harvested are brought by truck or barge to Anderson Tully Lumber Company's Vicksburg Mill where they are processed. Once the logs are received on the log yard, we take them to a process what we call debarking, where we take all the bark and try to maintain as much as a usable fiber as possible. We take it through a metal detector which picks up any metal or spikes or anything that might be in the logs. We got two eight-foot band mills where we cut the logs down to a maximum diameter of 18 by 18. After that process, each board that comes off of that goes to our optimizer edger. Then everything goes that to our accumulation table, which goes through our inspection process. And after inspection process, it goes through an end trimmer. After it comes to the end trimmer, it drops in our sorter. And once in the sorter, it's automatically entered into inventory. Anderson Tully Worldwide is the exclusive sales and marketing agent for Anderson Tully Lumber Company. Due to the unique nature of our species mix, such as ash, cottonwood, cypress, elm, gum, hackberry, pecan, sycamore, and willow, Anderson Tully has always maintained a direct marketing approach. In major overseas markets, we have established legal sales entities staffed with Anderson Tully employees that will identify and educate potential customers as to the benefits and uses of Mississippi River bottomland hardwood species relative to their specific manufacturing processes and products. Well-managed forests coupled with quality manufacturing and aggressive sales leads to international distribution of fine lumber the lumber that's found in so many areas of our daily lives. Music